2002, Eckhard Wimmer realized viruses are simply strings of chemicals. This is the formula for the polio virus. He wondered whether they could mix a set of these chemicals together and recreate the living, reproducing polio virus just from its basic ingredients. We were nervous about that. You're doing an experiment nobody else had done. And so there's always a possibility of a surprise. Like all viruses, polio is simply a collection of genes protected by a shell. In the case of polio, this genetic material is made of chemicals similar to DNA, called RNA. It's this long string of genetic material that Wimmer was trying to make. The problem was, they needed 7,500 pieces of RNA in an exact sequence. So what do you do? You cut up these 7,500 nucleotides on the computer, actually. You do this on the computer. You cut them up into smaller pieces. In fact, you mail order them. All Professor Wimmer had to do was call up a commercial laboratory, order his gene fragments, and wait for the post. From these fragments, they had to assemble the complete genome of the polio virus, piece by piece. Whilst complex, this stage was nothing new. It was the next part that was controversial. They had to make this collection of genes live. And now we had this RNA, and we had to actually kick the RNA into behaving like a biological entity. As you say in the computer language, we had to boot life into this program, this biological program. We took this RNA and mixed it with a cell-free juice. That juice was produced from human cells that we opened up. We threw away the nuclei and mitochondria, which are large organelles, and was left over with an almost clear juice, still containing lots of goodies that the cell has in the cytoplasm. And now we took the RNA and mixed that with that juice. And uh, lo and behold, the RNA woke up. It's really, this was really remarkable. The mail order collection of RNA, simple chains of chemicals, started building more copies of themselves, and then new shells. And then these component parts assembled themselves into new virus particles.